and welcome to MASL TV. My name is Jeff Husted. We're about ready to start week three of this great season, but before we do that, we've got one more piece of business from week two we've got to take care of. I'm joined today by Ian Bennett of the Milwaukee Wave, and Ian, congratulations to you. Uh, you are week two's MASL Player of the Week. Yeah, thanks, man. Thanks. So obviously, obviously a team effort. You know, uh, the boys helped me out, um, and, but I was honestly most happy because we got the dub, man, so... Uh, that's all good. All right, Ian. Now, you featured, uh, along with your Milwaukee Wave teammates, in the f season's first game against the Tacoma Stars. That was a great game. Uh, but in that game, you were held to just one goal. Now, you come back from that. You score five goals uh, against Cedar Rapids. W what was the mindset there? What what changed? Were you uh, just ready to, to bring it on in week two? Yeah, but, like, first thing, I mean, one goal a game? I'm sure a lot of players would take one goal a game, man. I know, obviously, I set the bar high and the standards for myself was high, which is which is fine. You know, I can handle that pressure. But, no, honestly, Tacoma, man, these guys are a really good team, man. I, you know, like, obviously, we didn't take them lightly. But, I mean, we took them – they took us to a golden goal, man. They can play, man. So, um, I don't think anything was that. I think they were a really good team. And I got to give them a lot of credit. You know, obviously, I had some chances. And I was rusty getting used to that new ball, too. So, but, honestly, I'm just happy – this year, I'm, I'm all about just getting the wins, man. Obviously, I would like to obviously be a part of it and score goals, but at the end of the day, it's all about wins right now. Okay, early on in this season, the Milwaukee Wave are looking like one of the top teams in the league. Uh, in the game against Cedar Rapids, you guys laid it on them pretty early. Now, they did creep back there at the end, uh, but did you ever feel like this game was ever in jeopardy? Yeah, yeah, we had it. I think... I think obviously as the score was, I think at that point it was like 11 to three and we kind of put our foot off the gas pedal a little bit, kind of let them back in. But honestly, we had that game 11, three, we weren't worried. Um, and we played, we probably played around too much, but, uh, at the end, we, we handled our business and we got it done. What was in that game for you specifically? Uh, you came into that game on fire. Uh, and uh, specifically, at one point, you scored a goal and you looked back at your teammates. You were ready to bring on more, it looked like. So talk about the emotions of that night and, and what that game meant to you, being back in front of your crowd for the first time. Well, to be honest, I mean, there was a lot of ex-Wave players there. Um, it was a big night. It was Tozer's, obviously, his tribute. And all that stuff. But honestly, I just wanted to come back in and show that, you know, we're a little rusty. I'm not going to lie. I thought I was a little rusty on the on the, on that game. So I just wanted to come back and show that I got the game still and we're a force to be reckoned with, you know, especially as a team and individuals, you know, because it could be anyone's night, too. Obviously, the last game was my night, but it could be, honestly, everyone's night. All right, let's talk about this weekend a little bit. This is your first two-game weekend of the season. You go into St. Louis and then into Kansas City two days in a row. Uh, this division has always been one of the toughest ones in the league. Uh, and now with uh, some changes in, in St. Louis, they're a much tougher team than they were. And Kansas City is always going to be Kansas City, whether or not uh, certain players are there uh, or when they bring in new players. So what are you looking forward to this weekend? Yeah, honestly, Jeff, this is going to be a nice little test. Obviously, it's not like make or break our season, but, I mean, this is going to be huge, man. I mean, you can essentially – Go up. We could be four and zero after this weekend, or we could split, or we could lose both. So you never know. But honestly, we got to take the first game. And and you're right, St. Louis man, they're improved. They got Everton running the show down there. So you know he brings a ton of experience, and he knows a bunch of us too. And we've also played against him too. Um. So yeah, it's gonna be tough, man. And then it's the funny thing: you play that game. Hopefully you win or whatever the result you get, and then you got to take a bus or we got to fly. And then we're all the way to KC. So it's like, man, it's like you don't get a break. It's like, and then you know you got them. They're coming in. I think they don't play on Saturday, so they're going to be obviously fresh and, and ready for us. So, yeah, man, it's going to be a tough two games, but obviously we're looking forward to it. This is what we got to do. Um, this creates a little excitement, and, I mean, this is why we love the league, man. Now, how do you, as a veteran of this league, as a veteran of the team, how do you prepare for a two-game road trip like this one? Oh, man, you got honestly, like I was telling the players, you got to get in your mode, man. You got to kind of go in your zen mode and, and do what you have to do to get up for this game because, I mean, you can't make excuses, man. It is what it is. You got to back to back and you just got to just make so make yourself enjoy it and just and just think of think positive and just really make sure you're you're resting, man. You're not expending any other energy. You're not wilding out. You're not running around. You're off your feet. 
you're chilling, you got to make sure you're eating good and you're hydrating. And, um, I mean, those are the most important stuff, man, and, ju and just relaxing, and just getting focused for the games. Now you guys are seen as probably one of the stronger teams in the league and, and one of the favorites to go deep in the Ron Newman Cup playoffs this year. How do you think that translates across the league? And when you face other teams, how do they get ready for you? Yeah, let's be honest. You're gonna we're the Milwaukee Wave. You're probably gonna get everyone's best game, like just like the Coleman. Like we can't take anyone lightly. It doesn't matter about the record, it doesn't matter who they have. They're gonna give us their best game. You know, going in their building or in our building, we're gonna get the best game. Just like if someone's playing Baltimore, they're gonna give them the best game to their champs. So honestly, we can't really look at that. We just gotta come in like we have a target on our back and we gotta do our job. You know, those guys, those young guys, those new guys are gonna try to make their names in this league. So of course, if what better yet to beat the best team, one of the best teams in the league? Yeah, so I'm sure they're going to be looking forward for the night, and I'm sure their players are going to look to have some big nights and do some big things and try to knock us off. All right, we've been talking here with Ian Bennett from the Milwaukee Wave, the Week 2 MASL Player of the Week. Thanks. We can't wait to see you guys in all of the games on MASL TV this weekend. Thank you so much. I'll see you.